So to solve this problem, we're going to use two different methods. So the first method is using the formula that energy is equal to epsilon over 2 integrating over the electric field square over all space. So it goes all the way to infinity. And then if we check the configuration that we have, we have a shell with radius A, it has charge Q, and then we have another shell, charge B, yeah, with radius B, with charge negative Q. So thanks to the shell theory, we know that the electric field inside here is zero. The electric field in this part is only going to, going to come from this shell over here, and it's going to act like a point particle. So the electric field in this section here is going to be equal to this. So R is going to be the distance from the center to wherever we are. And then once we're outside, the electric field is going to go back to zero because using Gauss law, you can see that the charges will cancel out. So knowing this, now we can apply this to this formula. So let's try to figure out what our equation should be. So it's going to be going to be a triple integral because we're integrating across space, so it's 3D. So the electric field square. That's just this expression squared. And then a unit of volume. So we're obviously we're going to use uh, spherical coordinates. So it's going to be r squared sine theta dr d theta d phi. And then for the bounds, dr, it's going to, go, going to go from a to b. So it's just this section over here. So when it's 0 to a, it's equal to 0. This whole thing is 0. When it goes from b to infinity, it's all going to be equal to 0. So the only part that's not 0 is a to b. And then for pi, it's 0 to pi. Uh, for theta, it's 0 to pi. For phi, it's 0 to 2 pi. So that draws up the all of space, essentially. So let's try to pull out the constants first. So I've got Q squared. And essentially we have a pretty a rather simple integral. Sine theta dr d theta d phi. So solving this integral is pretty uh, straightforward. So let's just try to organize our constants a bit. So first of all, there are no phi terms, so I can integrate across d phi, so that gives me a 2 pi. The only theta term is sine theta, and when you integrate sine theta from 0 to pi, that's equal to 2. And then we have a 1 over r squared. So if you integrate that, that's negative 1 over r, going from a to b. So this is 4, right? So this becomes 8. So we have q squared, there's also a pi that goes away. So q squared divided by 8 pi epsilon negative 1 of b plus 1 over a. So this is the answer.